Hey, this is Steve Sando with Intermountain Paleo Consulting again for Bones for Learning. Right now, we're going to go find out what Dan Burke is doing. So Dan, what are you doing today? I'm working on a cow skeleton. I've got um, the skull out here to my right, and then the whole vertebral column and the pelvis over here. This is uh, cervical one, also called the atlas running all the way down through the cervical rib, vertebrae, dorsal vertebrae, lumbar vertebrae, sacrum, and then the tail, the caudal vertebrae. So the last one is caudal 18, which is this little tiny guy here. This is the last one we have uh, from the tip, tip of the tail. Awesome. So you're riding on the bones today? I am. I'm labeling them uh, with what they are so that uh, someone else will be able to assemble them uh, as I have. So, do you like puzzles? I do, I've always <laughs> loved puzzles. <laughs> and this is one of the best kind of puzzles. Dan is our master preparator, so sometimes we find fossils in the field that take months to put together, like a big jigsaw puzzle. So what's the most interesting aspect of the cow? This cow has been just a really good opportunity to see all the bones together and how they work together. When we find things in the field, they're generally not so well preserved. They're not so complete. Uh, that's, a, that's a rarity. So it's been nice to work on something that is complete and, and seeing how um, the different bones work together and compare to one another. Is it comparable in size to some of the things you find in the field? Absolutely. Out here in the Uinta Basin, we often find brontotheres, which are large perissodactyls related to horses and rhinoceroses. And the size of these bones is very comparable to a bronothier, including even the size of the skull. So we're missing the ribs still. They're behind you there on the bed, right? They are. They're behind me on the bed. I've got them laid out uh, side by side in, in order. And then the, the legs, the forelimbs and hindlimbs up on the top bunk. Uh, I'll be labeling those later on. Great. Well, Dan, thanks for sharing your truth doing the job today. That's kind of interesting. It is very interesting. It's been fun. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.